everyone, it's Nisha. So today is Sunday, but you will obviously see this video on Monday. I'm filming today because I'm very busy tomorrow. So my boys are at home, so you might hear some noises, but I've opened the window, so hopefully you will hear the birds. But I can hear the birds. Must be a nap time for the birds. Okay, today I've got a haul for you. Um, I have bought some stuff and my husband had just been to Spain for a few days to see my mum and I asked him to get me a few things. He couldn't get me everything and he got me some things wrong. So <laughs> I have to ask you about something in a minute. Um, anyway, first thing I wanted to tell you, I don't know if you know that Rosie Huntington Whitley or Whiteley um, has her own perfume now in Marks and Spencer's for is it for autograph? Yeah, for autograph. Just called Rosie. So I been to Marks and Spencer's and I had a little sniff and I love it. Uh, so the box looks like this. This is the smaller one. I always buy the smallest size of perfume that I can get, usually the 30 ml because I get quite bored. I've I've had some fragrances that I would repurchase, but not straight away. I might wait a few month, months and then repurchase it. So I get quite bored with, with fragrance. I like different ones all the time, so I prefer to buy smaller sizes and use it up than buy a big one and let it go off. So I bought the, uh, what is it, 30ml? Yeah, this is the 30ml. I am absolutely useless with this describing describing scents but it is floral but i would say it's quite musky as well it's um it's very warm it's, i don't think it's sickly it's sort of powdery musky floral smell that's what i think anyway so if you max and spencer's just smell it it is um eau de perfume so it's not a old toilet and it's not very expensive the the little uh, size is 18 pounds, I think, 18 or 12, 18, and the bigger size is 28, I think, I can't remember, but yeah, I really, really like it, I really enjoy it, and I also, you know, she does, um, Rosie has her own um, lingerie in Max and Spencer's for autograph, and I got a nice bra got the matching knickers but I'm not going to be showing you the knickers um, it's just this that one it's, it's a nice t-shirt bra and it's just so soft and lovely it's got lace here I got in like a fleshy color I, I sometimes prefer the flesh colored bras especially when you wear them under white if you wear a white bra it really shows so the flesh, co flesh colors are nice um, what is the thing that's it so it's um, that one, that set. So I got that. Uh, then I got another fragrance and I got Calvin Klein Eternity. So it's, you know, nothing new. Um, and it's the original one because I think they do the aqua. I love this. I haven't had it for a long, long time. And I mean long, long time. And... It's like everybody, I think, knows Calvin Klein Eternity. So I'm going to be enjoying that. Okay, next thing I bought, and I think that must have been Brianna Stanko that was talking about it. She's quite um, taken by the by Terry makeup. And I bought the Tourge Volute. And it is a highlighting concealer. Mine is in, I think it comes in four shades. Is it Alabaster the first one or Ivory, then Cream, then Beige, and I can't remember the darkest one. So I got mine Cream, which is the number two, I think. Yeah, number two in Cream. I don't know if you can see that. And it is lovely for highlighting, everywhere else but for under my eyes it is too light you, you know like I've explained if you have eye bags if you put it something very light lighter than the rest of your face then it's gonna um, emphasize the bags but I love the concealer 
and I might tell you more about it. I might do like a review. There is the color. So here it looks quite darkish, but on my face it looks really, really pale. So I'm thinking of getting um, the beige, but it is so expensive. But I think it is worth every penny. I absolutely love it. I might as well tell you about it. So Terry, Terry, I can't remember her surname. She used to work for YSL and she is the person behind Touche Club. You know, the first highlighter. But Touche Club is just that highlighter, it is not concealer. Whereas this is highlighter with concealer. And it's got great coverage, but it's very light and uh, not cakey. And the size of it, you get here three three times the size of Touche Club. This is, I think, 30, is it 38 pounds? I'm so terrible with the prices. But you get three times the size of Touche Club. So, you know, being concealer is going to last you a long time and it performs wonderfully. I cannot, I almost feel like, you know when people use products they say, oh, it really blurs out your pores and makes it, and I always think, no, it doesn't really, nothing blurs out pores, but I feel like this does, and oh, it's just wonderful. Shall I put some on? It might be a bit too much. You see, when I put it on my face, it looks very, very light, so let me just show you the, can you see the highlighting? of it but also it has amazing amazing coverage without be, being cakey i absolutely love it i think this thing is worth every penny it's got um, one of these brushes the same you know pumpkin action and i heard someone a saying there is a trick if you get to the end of it if you unscrew this anti-clockwise I think you can pull it off and you can pull the tube out I haven't tried it obviously but I will when I'm running out and apparently you can get much more um, product out of it so I might I don't know I might or I might use it in one of my get ready, ready with me so you can see how it performs but you know I've had it just for three days and I love it I really love it I never thought I have so many concealers now but this is so different you know your concealer is usually just a concealer or just a highlighter but they seem to have best of both both worlds so I really really love it and I might have to get the darker one because then I can I haven't been using this under my eyes because first time I used it under my eyes uh, it really accentuated my bags and remember by bags I mean the puffiness not dark circles because that will cover your dark circles quite nicely um, so I think I need the darker one for just under my eyes okay then I got two things that my husband bought me um, when he was away I asked him to get me the Dior Universal Brow Styler because I saw um, Ghost Makeup Artist. I don't know if you remember, he did um, he did funny video about Instagram brows, laughing at people, you know. Um, brows are so in and we have them so defined and, and so drawn on that he was laughing we all look like drag queens. Well, not all of us. And he was saying that we need more natural brows. So he um, was showing how to do more natural brows with this one. And this is the Dior Show Brow Styler. Um, and it, it is ultra fine precision brown pen, brow pencil. And it says in, in universal brown. There you go. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Universal brown, which means that all of us can use it. Doesn't matter what color hair you have. It's just how hard you press it. I'm not too convinced about that uh, because I'm sure if 
you had very very light eyebrows or red eyebrows that wouldn't probably work for you it is very very light it looks beautiful obviously being your um, it has this pulley on one side and then it's twist up now look how much product you get here that's it that is not much at all most of these pencils have that much and i think this will use up pretty quickly saying that i absolutely love the consistency of it the actual pencil it is not too soft it is not too hard it is different this whole thing is different to Anastasia, different feel. When you get this first time, it's, it's very sharp, like blunt. So it's different to Anastasia. I like everything about the formula of it. The color, I've got it on today, it's okay. The color is the most difficult thing to find, but it depends on your brows. If you have brows that you just need to draw on few hairs, this is perfect. But I have to draw under here just to make my brows wider because they are so thin. So I do like it, but it is, I think, £18.50 or £19.50. That's a lot of money for an eyebrow pencil. And I was thinking to myself, very long time ago, I used to use the Clinique super fine liner for brows I think it's called and I don't remember the number I think it was 03 that I used to use and I loved it and then I've discovered Anastasia and I stopped buying the Clinique so I might go back to Clinique I might buy Clinique after I finish that and see because with Clinique you have choice of colors but this is Beautiful pencil, really nice. So if you can splurge, go ahead. But I think it's taking a mick, really, <laughs> to sell a tiny brow pencil for that much money. But it is dual. Now, I asked my husband to get me MAC Prep and Prime. You know that highlighting pencil in, was it Radiant Light? The Not the pink one, the lighter one. So, of course... He doesn't have an doesn't have idea what I'm talking about. He just told the woman, and she sold him Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Base. Okay, the what do they call it? Natural Radiance Illuminating Base. Okay, and if it was the yellow one, it's a radiant pink. So. I haven't opened it, I haven't tried it because I've never used this product. I don't really know what it's about. Um, I don't know. So I wanted to ask you if any of you used it. Do you know how it performs? You know I've got sort of normal to combination skin with the oily T-zone and it is pink but as it's a primer it might not matter so much. Do you think I would like it? Would it be any good for me because I don't want to open it because I will have to sell it because he's just basically wasted money on it so um, I will have to sell it unless some of you tell me that you think that I would maybe like it for myself um, so yeah that was the wrong thing but then just as well because I bought that by Terry Concealer, so I don't really want any more that MAC Prep and Prime highlighter. Okay, what else did I buy? Oh, you know, like um, I've heard a lot of people talking always about Ben Nye powders, the banana powder, cameo powder. Um, and I wanted to try the banana powder, but I did you know, they are not that expensive, but I get a huge bottle and I thought if I don't like it, so like eBay is the best place to go and, and get, uh, get samples. So I got a little tiny size of the banana powder, which is yellow. Don't know how that comes across on the camera. And it is so finely milled setting powder. 
you don't really see it but it's very brightening because it's yellow you know i suppose it's a bit like um is it in the anastasia the contour kit a lot of people use that yellow one right here because it's very brightening and i quite like it you have to use it very very sparingly and i just like set it through my teaser but what i've noticed lately since i've been using this i think that when i use it through my teaser i think uh, my makeup breaks up on my nose but that could be due to something else that i've been using so i don't know i have to work with it for a bit longer because i've only had it not even a week and see if this is that but i think you know i've been setting under my eyes with it if you are very very careful and don't take too much it is a lovely lovely powder and it's so inexpensive so i've really enjoyed that um okay i have bought so my friend karen here on youtube from mrs ginger's beauty channel um did a haul and she was talking about this and it's a daf advanced hair series oxygen oxygen moisture for fine flat hair and it it is a root lift spray but it's not your typical spray that is sticky it just feels like water and i quite like it so if i spray on my hair wet because you can do it on wet or dry hair and you know fine flat hair that's what i have uh, it's supposed to add body and volume if i do it on wet hair and i do it with most most styling products if i use a styling product i don't put it in my hair immediately after i've taken the towel off because i feel like that defeats the object because whatever you put in that very wet hair is gonna dilute that that product your wet hair is gonna dilute it so i first roughly dry my hair a bit before i put any product in it otherwise i feel it's not going to work so that's why i do with this and i just spray a few sprays go very nice fine spray it's got this bottle stop i know it's got um so it's lovely very very fine spray it smells beautiful very fresh and airy so and it does definitely add, add volume and lift to fine hair like mine but it doesn't give you any of that stickiness with it you know you don't feel any anything in it but I also like to use it in a dry hair and you'd think you know something like this that is like water that if you spray it in your dry hair it's just gonna make it flatter but it does work so like the second day hair I will just lift it and spray in few places just go like this and I just leave it to dry and somehow that's give me lift excuse my hair you probably noticed by a few of my last videos that I just put it like that up and you all how like I can't be bothered to make an effort but I just don't like washing my hair and I have to enjoy it when it's freshly done I only had my highlights done about two three weeks ago because that's when my hair needs least washing because it's dried out by bleach so I enjoy that time that I don't have to wash it all the time because as soon as I get a bit of rootage I will have to wash it more often anyway so yeah I enjoy using it on dry hair and I really really think it works so I've never bought any Dove hair care um, you know you always tend to think oh because they started with soap and and deodorants what do they know about hair <laughs> but um i know silly way of thinking but that's how i always thought and i've never tried the shampoos or conditioners but just because karen was talking about it and she said that her hair obviously is not fine she's got very thick hair and loads of it but she said because of that it's flat and she said they worked a bit on hair so i thought if you worked on her thick hair it must work on mine so thank you karen that i really like that oh i forgot to tell you about my my top so if you follow me on instagram you've probably seen me um this is the wild fox couture sweatshirt the barbie sweatshirt but i love it it's called um it is called barbie my resume 
sweatshirt and I love them you know what folks couture is expensive it's very expensive but it is designer but you can't beat the softness I've never had sweatshirt like this apart from I have Armani couple of Armani sweatshirts that feel very similar to this but still not as as soft as this and in fact the Armani sweatshirts are men's sweatshirts uh, Paul has them as well so when he was buying them I said I want them so I bought them in the smallest size that they came I don't know if it was small or extra small because they are men's and I've got one navy and one like a khaki color but they were so soft that I have had to have them I mean I am these days you know comfort of over style i'm getting all that and i want to be cozy and comfortable and you don't get much more cozy than this so this is even softer than my armani um sweatshirt um and that was that was it what i bought oh i forgot to show you so um i told you paul went to see my mom um, he went to see her just to help her with a few things <clears throat> because she is moving to Malaga now from where she lives so he just had to help her with a few things and she bought me this lovely necklace my mum is so into jewellery I mean she has so much jewellery I thought I was into jewellery but I'm nothing comparing to her she's obsessed and she likes the big pieces so I thought that was really really pretty so she got me that I gave Paul lots of makeup to give her as well <laughs> um, I always give her some makeup um, okay and what else he brought me oh my god I love whenever I go to Spain my mum introduced me to this tea and it's from Pompadour and it's Digestive Plus. I can't find anything like it here with all the ingredients that are in this tea. You can find a lot of digestive tea here but it be just mint or mint and chamomile or just chamomile. This has so many different ingredients and I remember translating all these ingredients one day and I went with that to the supermarket and I could never get anything like it and I looked online as well to see if I could find it somewhere here in the UK and I couldn't so Paul Paul brought me I think 20 boxes back like a tea smuggler <laughs> I was laughing at him I said they're gonna stop you and think you are a smuggler you're smuggling tea um, or drugs disguised as tea but I love it it's it's got such wonderful aroma and taste I drink it all the time and it's caffeine free as well so if any of you know when you can get it here in the UK please let me know okay uh, what else oh and then the last thing um, this company sent me something wonderful and I cannot cannot wait to try it let me just show you the company is called Purador or Purador And they sell organic hair and skin products. And what they send me is the Argan Oil Premium Organic Shampoo Hair Loss Prevention Therapy. So it says that it has 12 advanced DHT blockers to stop premature hair loss. It's for thinning hair, receding hair and excessive shedding. Adds body, increases volume and thickens hair. Is for all hair types, for when, for when, for men, women, and it's color safe. It's got no parabens, no harsh chemicals. So I haven't tried it yet, and this one, yeah, this one is the shampoo, which is the argan oil. Oh, it smells, smells quite minty, minty and fresh. That one, and then the conditioner. This is Purado Argan Oil, but this is in lavender and vanilla. Okay, and I think I smell that one is just gorgeous. Oh, that, that I could eat. I probably could as it's organic. 
Our naturally organic conditioner is made from 99% vegetable based ingredients. It's free of sodium, lauryl sulfate, parabens, gluten, artificial colors, artificial fra fragrances and harsh preservatives. So if you're into all that organic and nothing harsh, no additives, this seemed to be wonderful, wonderful um, line. And then they sent me the argan oil and and this argan oil is for everything for body hair face treatment you can use it everywhere and it's an organic argan oil so i will have to probably wash my hair tomorrow so what i will do i will try it for a week next week and i gather a bit more information about it so i can tell you more in detail because uh, otherwise this video is going to be far too, too long more in detail how I like it and how it felt and obviously te tell you give you more information about the whole line um, but in the meantime if you want to find out by yourselves I will leave the link to the site below uh, I'm not getting paid for it by the way they just have sent me to try and I am so happy you know anything good for hair I'm going for it because my hair always needs nourishment and it's fine, it's, it's thin, it's always over processed so I need all that. So that was my little haul. I think I've shown you everything. Oh my earrings, you've probably have seen them um, in a couple of my videos now. I love them and they are only from Next. They don't have them online for some reason. I've noticed actually that if you look at the jewelry online it's such a tiny selection usually it's the other way around but when you go to the to the store you get so much more um, because I haven't seen these ones unless they maybe are uh, the new spring collection and they will come out in the new cut but I'm sure I've got the new brochure and I haven't seen it in there either anyway they were they were very very inexpensive I think something like six pounds and I have them in silver and gold and let me take them out actually so they do up like this you see and they are like very textured almost like a rope effect that's why they sparkle so i've got these silver ones and i've got gold ones and i i wasn't sure at first when i was buying them i love hoops any hoops but um they are not that easy to put on actually um I wasn't sure because they are so big but I love them I really love them I love them with my hair down with my hair up so I've been wearing them a lot but it's very difficult to wear them if you're going outside and you have a scarf on and a big collar on your coat because they are like in a way and my hoops always this one always look funny that way because obviously when I had my hole pierced it wasn't pierced straight with the long ones it doesn't look so bad smaller hoops always look a bit crooked okay um, my makeup my makeup if you want tutorial for this i quite like it actually do you know what i got dug out oh look look um i dug out my inglot eyeshadows i keep using all this new stuff and i forget about and i love inglot eyeshadows i mean i've, I've done tutorials a long time ago because I probably bought them a year and a half ago, not longer. Um, I, and I've shown all the shadows that I have and the swatches. And I love them. And I got them out today. And that's what I did today. I've got lashes as well. What lashes have I got on? I have Coco lashes on, I think, 120 or 102. I will put it all in the description box what I'm what I'm wearing. So um, it's so hard to pick out favorites this this week because of all the new stuff. They are all my favorites. Um, I've got a couple more videos coming this week for you, um, a review, and I think another natural eye look, believe it or not. So you should see me a couple more times this week. And for today, that's all. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful week and I see you soon. Bye.